Hey there, it's Ben Housel here, and here in this tutorial, we're gonna have a look at how we slow down adjustments that we're making either to audio or to images in Final Cut Pro 10. Now, this might be whether you're cropping an image, adding scale to an image, or changing the levels of audio. Often you'll find the defaults when you're dragging down your audio levels or when you're trying to change the scale of your images, things are happening very quickly. So we're gonna have a look at how we slow those down and make very refined adjustments. So if you're interested in these types of tips and tricks in Final Cut Pro 10, then be sure to hit the subscribe button um, and the notifications button. And otherwise, let's uh, dive in and uh, have a look at how we make refined adjustments in Final Cut Pro 10. So in Final Cut Pro 10 here, we're gonna have a look at five different ways in which we can make refined adjustments to audio and also to scale and cropping. So before we begin, we're gonna go up to Window, Workspaces, and we're gonna reset the default workspace, which is Command and Zero, just so that we know we're all looking at the same screen. Now you'll just need one clip down on the timeline um, to practice with this, I've got a few, um, but one clip will be enough. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is uh, make sure we've got our audio and video visible on the timeline for this first tip. So basically, we wanna come up to the top right of our timeline, and we're gonna change our view to this fourth view in here, where we're showing the waveform and the video in this kind of two thirds and one third format. And we also wanna increase the height of our clip so we can see a good chunk of that waveform. Now, when we come to Final Cut Pro 10, um, once we've got our waveform lined up here, when we normally come down to the timeline, we'll see this blue bar, and if we click on it and drag it up and down, then our audio moves super quick, and sometimes it's very fiddly to try and get that in exactly the right spot. So this is the first of the tips, which is that if we hold down the command key on the keyboard and start to drag, you can see instead of quickly dragging, I'm dragging slowly one decibel at a time, which is really handy when you're trying to make those refine adjustments to your audio. So if I let go, we're making a quick adjustment and we can quickly drop down the audio to minus infinity or silent, um, or we can kind of make those refined adjustments by dragging this up and down. Now the second tip here to re add refined adjustments to audio, I'm just gonna bring this back up to zero, is that we just wanna add that to a section. So in Final Cut Pro 10, we don't always wanna drop the audio for our entire track. We wanna do that to a section. Now there's two ways of doing this. One is to hold down the Alt key and we can add keyframes there. So I'm just clicking on that blue bar and adding keyframes. And that means now when I hold down the Command key and drag down, I'm dragging down that audio level nice and slowly. Now the other way that we can add these keyframes in is to use the range selection tool. So if we come up to our tools here, and grab the range selection tool. Then we can drag along a selection. And then if we hold down command and drag down, we're gonna slowly drag down that audio. So one other way of raising and lowering the audio levels with control is to use control plus and minus to increase or decrease your audio level by one decibel. So hold down the control key and press plus or minus, and that will have the same effect as holding down command and dragging the bar up and down. You can only do this if you have a range selected, not for the entire clip. So those are the first two tips for modifying the levels of audio um, in a nice, smooth and slow way, rather than the kind of quick adjustments, um, either to the whole audio track or to a selection of the audio. And now we're gonna go and have a look at how we do this to video, how we make refined adjustments to the scale and cropping of a video. So we're gonna to come to a different video here. I'm gonna jump back to my selection tool to select it. So we're gonna have a look at this clip and we wanna basically now look at how we scale this. So if we come to our clip here up above the timeline and we go to the transform option, then we can transform the clip here and we'll be able to kind of scale it up and scale it down nice and easily. Now sometimes you may not wanna scale on the video itself. You may actually wanna scale up in the inspector. So I'm gonna press done there and we'll just come up to our inspector and this is a third of our tips for making refined edits on the timeline. So when we're using the slider here to move and adjust our clips here, if we drag the slider to the left and right, it always moves very quickly. So we get that very quick adjustment. So I'm gonna reset that, the scale for the width and height. And as well as using the slider, we can pop into the percentage window here and increase and decrease the size of our clip. Now, this is where we can use a shortcut. So if we reset this now. If I hold down the Alt key and drag down, you can see that my percentage is changing really slowly. So basically I've got a nice level of control in this slider of how much I'm changing that clip by. So it's not gonna 
rush to a much bigger size when I'm dragging it up or down and I can just really kind of control exactly how much zoom I'm giving to that image. So that's the next tip for working with video, holding down the Alt key and dragging up and down here to increase or decrease the scale in a refined way. Now this tip, and this is our fourth tip, um, is that we can do the same thing um, in the crop options. So if we come to crop, we've got trim selected here. If we wanna trim from the left or from the right, if we drag up and then down in this number bar or on the slider, then the crop happens very quickly. So it's hard to control in the default um, how quickly we're cropping. If we hold down the Alt key when we're doing this, you can see that the crop is moving very slowly. So I'm able to really kind of crop in on something. So let's, for instance, crop to exactly this horse here. And if I hold down the Alt key on my right hand crop, you can see I can really refine exactly where that crop finishes. So this is without the Alt key held. And then if I hold down the Alt key, you can see I'm dragging in that blue box with the numbers and it will allow me to crop that in a very refined way. So the Alt key is super handy um, when you're working with scale and crop to make those refined adjustments. The command key does the same for your audio levels in the timeline. Now the last tip is about how we get these different elements of cropping in this refined way um, to another clip. So if we take the, the crop here that we've got on this clip, for instance, we can copy and paste the attributes to another clip. So if we click on this next clip, I've copied this clip with Command and C or Edit Copy. And now when I come to the next clip, I can go to Edit and Paste Attributes. And that allows me to paste the scale and the crop um, from that previous image so we can get these really refined adjustments to the crop and scale and then make sure they fit in with our edit. So we've got multiple clips here and the size and the scale follows through perfectly. So if we're doing a split screen or something that's stacked up in different layers, then we can really control everything in each of those clips. The second part of this copying and pasting is copying and pasting these audio keyframes. If I hold down shift, I can select multiple keyframes there. I can come to edit, come down to keyframes and copy. This is not the same copy function um, as the regular copy function. We need to actually come down to the menu here. And then if I come to this previous clip, with my playhead located where I want to have the first keyframe pasted, I can go to edit, keyframes, and paste keyframes. So again, this kind of refined level of control um, over different parts of our timeline, either by using shortcuts or by keeping consistency by copying and pasting attributes from one clip to another, um, either visually with the cropping or with keyframes um, for audio and also for other elements as well if you're copying and pasting video animation from one clip to another. And as a bonus tip here, we can also use the command key on the timeline for modifying our edits um, more slowly too. So if I hold down the command key and I come to an edit point with the selection tool selected, you can see now that as I'm dragging to the left, it's actually moving one frame at a time. So I'm able to modify that edit point much more slowly. If I let go, things are gonna move very quickly and it's hard to kind of grab that single frame, but with the command key held down, we can refine things much more slowly. So again, with something like the trim tool, if we hold down command and come to an edit point, you can see we're moving at one frame at a time there. So we're moving nice and slowly rather than uh, quickly as we would with seconds. So we'll just trim this down a little bit so you can see without it selected, I'm moving multiple frames with just a small little drag, but with command held down, it's moving nice and slowly. And that will work as well if we hold down trim in the middle of a clip. So I'll just trim this down a little bit more. And if we hold down just the mouse and move to the left and right, then we move our selection within that edit point quite quickly. But if we hold down command, we'll be moving the in and out point much more slowly. So we get that nice refined movement um, of the edit that we're making in Final Cut Pro 10. So that's the final tip here. I hope that was useful. Um, there's definitely lots of hidden shortcuts in Final Cut Pro 10. And if anyone has any questions about Final Cut Pro 10, about Apple Motion, and wants to leave them below, then 
please do. Um, I'm always adding new suggestions for tutorials to my to-do list, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.